You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive video coverage of Broadband World Forum 2015 from London. And I'm joined now by Vincent O'Byrne, who is Director of Technology at Verizon. Vincent, thanks for joining us today. Now, you've just come straight from a, a session where you've been presenting on TWM PON. Right. Tell me about the technology and why it's an attractive option for Verizon. Well, TWM technology is what we call the next generation of technologies for the PON, the all passive optical network. And uh, TWDM is effectively a collection of several different wavelengths, between four and eight wavelengths. Uh, each individually can support like 10 gigabits of throughput. Uh, and then there's a feature between it which allows the actual ONU, the device at the customer's home, to tune between those wavelengths. Right, and why is, is this important for Verizon? Well, Verizon has, has uh, started deploying fiber to the home since about 2004, and we started with BPON technology. That's like 15 years old now, and uh, or I should say 10 years old now. And uh, it's it's effectively end of life, right? Uh, GPON has been around there seven or eight years, started in 2008 for that technology. So it's pretty mature, and we needed to uh, define and plan for a technology that we will use after GPON. So why did you skip XGPON1? and how, how do you see TWM PON compared to the earlier iteration? Well, we've been uh, moving a lot of our business services onto GPON uh, in order to take advantage of all the fiber we've deployed in the network. And as part of that transition, uh, some of the business services at the one gig bit per second uh, rate kind of effectively required us to go to a point-to-point -point network, uh, effectively because there wasn't enough capacity to share with other, other users. Uh, going 10 to and a half, which is XGPON1, one of the issues there was that that would only allow us to put two one gig services on, onto the platform. So that wasn't seen as having a, enough life. Uh, so we needed a 10-10 uh, system, and that's where NGPON2 came about. Uh, NGPON2 uh, was going to have up to 40 gig on the same fiber in 10-10 chunks, and that's why uh, we were uh, pushing for like pay as you grow, allow you to put a 10-10 first and then uh, grow until you can get 40 gig onto the fiber. So with this high level of, of, of bandwidth, what are some of the applications that Verizon may in the, in the future deploy on TW and PON? So we'll start initially with business services, keep on uh, moving a lot of our business services, which we have maybe on point-to-point -point fiber, move them onto the PON structure, take uh, much better use of the fiber we've already deployed, lower its cost, increase even the service level that, that we were thinking of before. So we see business services and then as the technology matures and as the cost goes down, we'll start considering it for residential services, which ultimately is where the volume is. And that's ultimately uh, uh, the end game is to have a platform for our residential customers to be able to migrate to. Vincent, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for the invite.